Look at the beautiful sunrise. It doesn't get much more peaceful out here than that. And also guys, if you look around, there's little finches, these little birds, they're hanging out with us. They keep landing on the boat and they are the cutest things ever. Like look, turn the camera, there they are. Check out what we're wearing. Oh yeah. So accidentally, not on purpose, same and the shorts. shorts too. Same shorts. Pretty much. Same color. Similar boots. So sorry we can make this complicated, guys. But I don't feel like changing. No, it's pretty dark down there, down where everybody's sleeping, the lights were all off, so we were just grabbing whatever we could out of our bags and we happened to grab yellow shirts and green shorts and uh, we don't feel like going and changing, so this is a special video for you guys. You're gonna have to work extra hard. Just use the hats. Use the hats. Emily's in black. Amanda. My name is Emily. My name's Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Emily has a black hat. Amanda has a Amanda pink has hat. A pink hat. Yeah, we kind of got into a groove with two buckets. It seems to be the best thing for us. This bucket has all of our like tackle that we're using regularly. This is usually in here, and this is usually our bait bucket where we put like our squid and our value in day three and we're really starting to get into a groove and figure out how day we're three, but it's the I last know, fishing it's day. It's the last fishing day. We're finally getting everything figured out. So let's just sign to it. I like this spot. Is that spot? You're hooked up. Oh, look at that tuna. There it goes. Oh. We got our station, which means that we found an empty spot on the rail. Okay, we got. Oh! <gasps> no! No! You're good. All right. <laughs> we pretty much are using the same three rods this whole time. We have a slow pitch dig rod, two bottom rods. We have our tackle station and our bait bucket and GoPros for you guys. We're all set up. I think it's time to put some lines in the water. I'm going to put some lead on. I asked the guys what's helping them hold bottom. They said 12 ounces, so I'm probably going to start there too. And we're going to put some ballyhoo out and see what there is to catch. So far, that has been our routine every morning since we've been on this trip on the Yankee Caps out of Holy Ridge. The one main difference for this morning was that we actually slept five hours. Some other mornings we were coming off of a fishing all night and then switching gears getting ready and starting to fish for the morning so the main difference was that I actually feel awake today and I got some legit sleep breakfast will be ready soon and then we'll be eating breakfast but what's crazy is that I'm fishing before I even eat breakfast and normally that would not happen normally that's just because we're out here in Pulley Ridge at Pulley Ridge on the Yankee Caps are you on? I'm on we're on. First fish in the morning. Look at it run. So we're hoping for. Hoping for a mutton Getting snapper. tips from the best over here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Seriously, I took his advice and within minutes. Yeah, there's an expression. 
and I can attest to it being charter captains that if it didn't work the first time, try listening to the captain. Listen to the crew, listen or to the captain. Name. Take advice from those people, guys. You'll be surprised at how well it works. <laughs> we don't get the fish, so we help you guys out. <laughs> This is awesome. You got a nice one. I'm like really excited. First fish of the morning, I got five hours of sleep. I feel like I'm on another planet. <laughs> a good planet. Yeah. Got up, man. My armpit has bruises, go, go, so. Go. Keep your rod out. Go. It's quite the uh, the accomplishment to, to work down the, the rail like that with the old rods. Yeah. It's like doing the dance. Walk, walk, walk. Come to that corner. Good. I'm pretty excited. And guys, what you can do to help you is when the boat goes down with the waves, reel down. Use the waves and boat to help you. you fish. Oh, we're at the wind on. Right there. Should be close. All right, let's look in the water. It's gonna be right at the white water. Oh, you got a big mutton! Right in the head. Nice. Headshots wow. only. Perfect right draft job. Nice mutton snapper. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I wasn't losing him anytime soon. Nope, that hook is deep in there. Alright. Down here, look at how pretty they are. Catching the pinkies. Let's talk about what makes this fish a mutton snapper. All right guys, mutton snapper, excellent type of snapper. See this black dot? That is like standard mutton snapper. If you don't know what kind of snapper it is, look at the black dot. Black dot, no particular stripes or lines really on this fish, mostly just pinkish with a black dot. That's like a good way to know. Wouldn't you say so? I'd say so myself. And then guys, when you catch your fish on this boat, someone's hooked up, we might be in their way. But we'll make sure when you catch your fish on this boat, um, crew touches the gaff, you're not allowed to touch the gaff, you have them handle the gaffing, and then we have our numbers. So, Emily's number 14. We got a red grouper coming through. Emily's number 14. I'm number 18, I don't know where my numbers went, but we're sharing our fish, so you rip a number off, and you can stick it right here in the gills. And what the mates do is they'll come through and staple the numbers to your fish. They'll throw your fish on ice so when we get back to the dock at the end of all four days, I know which fish are mine. Let's take this fish to the ice. No one is stealing our mutton snapper now. Nice to stay cold tonight. Here he goes with all of his buddies. Oh yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Amanda, <sighs> this fish number two. <laughs> I literally What's going on here? was on bottom for like a second. Holy cow. This is a night. This, this is, is bigger. Such a nice <laughs> fish. <gasps> No. It pulled off. It pulled off. I feel like we celebrated too soon. I was getting so excited. I think I lost everything. I think I got pulled in. I think I got pulled in the bottom. Our delicious breakfast sandwiches. So that good. pretty much sums up a morning for us on the Yankee Caps out in Pulley Ridge. This is morning number. Three, two, more, well it's morning number two, but day number three. It's morning number two, but day number three. Yesterday, mor this morning we actually got to sleep before. Like this morning I woke up at six and I had a solid five hours of sleep and then I got to fishing. 
yesterday morning I fished all night and then changed all my rigs and everything and then started fishing in the morning. Like so. yesterday morning we were kind of coming off of an all nighter. So we fished through the night and into the morning. But this morning we got five full hours of sleep and we got breakfast and so we feel like a million bucks out here. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn your notifications on to our YouTube channel, Gale Force Twins. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.